three, two, one. Maybe just to pick up your figures very carefully because they're collector items now. Ready, set, rip. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Guys, we got the all-new Treasure X Series 5, Season 1. What? Yeah, they're back. They took Season 1, which was the first series, and they brought it back into Series 5 because, hey, I guess there's a lot of you guys out there like me. We love Season 1. And what was Season 1 like? Let's go back in time, boys and girls. Remember these guys from Season 1? Now, we don't have all 24 of them up here. We just have the ultra-rare glow-in-the-dark figures, which are line the Midnight Crusaders. These are pretty cool. We have a King Gold Crown, and then we have Golden Axe, and then we have Lord Loot Loot. And then we got over here, it's the Pirate Posse. Arr. And those guys are rares. Not ultra-rares, but they're rares. Still super cool. And then over here, we have the Scuba Scavengers. And those guys are rare, too. They got kind of that crystal -y finish. Now, with Series 5, they're bringing them back again, but not all of them, according to what we read here, is going to be the same. You see where it says right here? Return of season one and it says some with limited finishes Ooh, you know what if those have limited finishes then what makes these guys that they limit the finish on more limited because these guys are now hard to find the value of my old collection has just gone up because now they're ultra ultra rares but then pretty soon you hang on to these over time and they'll become ultra rares in fact you know what all these guys my favorite ones are these ultra rares and they glow in the dark but you know what this guy reminds me of i think out of all of them he reminds me of Disneyland. he's got the p right here kind of like blackbeard's ghost a little bit or disney bowls why uh, i'm gonna find it here guys him right there so those are all the different rides you can go on at disneyland and their characters so doesn't that look like admiral Goldhook guys well, without the hook he's sitting on a pile of treasure and that's what we hope to find. And remember, in these, there's real gold dip treasure. Woo! We're going to find him. I digress. But I also found him on the thermos mug. Yay, more Disney. He's right back here. There's our Sir Admiral Goldhook. Pirates of the Caribbean. Not far of a stretch. You just need a, a hat and a scowl and an arr. And pretty much you got everything pirate. And then, of course, oven mitts, you know, to remind you that when you're cooking, you're not really cooking unless you're in Disneyland or Disney World because there's the pirate ship for the pirate ride over in Disneyland. And then here's the pirate flag over in Disney World. And then these, maybe just to pick up your figures very carefully because they're collector items now. Woo! We'll put these guys off to the side, okay? Because I'm curious to find out, are they gonna be the same characters for some of them? And then others are gonna have different finishes? Well, let's get started. Let's put them off to the side. Now, for those of you who are new to Treasure X, you're like, I don't care, just get onto the box here. I'm like, you know, we had to have a little bit of history. We went to skill, now it's time to see what these guys are really about. Will you find real gold dip treasure? There's 24 treasure hunters to collect, available across series five. Return of season one heroes, some with limited finishes. And I think this was the coolest season ever. And then it asks, will you find real gold dip treasure? What are the odds of finding one? Because it says down in little teeny tiny print, one in 24 packs contain real gold dip treasure. But you know what guys? That's what it says on the bottom of the box here, right? Guess what? Woo! On the side of the box, yeah, okay, we got a different picture here, right? And it's one of the scuba scavengers. But if you look at the teeny tiny vertical print, it says one in 18 packs contain real gold dip treasure. So which isn't moose, is it one in 18 or one in 24? I think what they did is they put the box out with somebody actually erasing that old part of it saying, one in 18, we can't, we gotta go one in 24. Gold keeps going up, it'll be one in 50. Then <laughs> we really gotta work cut out for us to find the gold. Might be easier just to get a gold detector and go out to the desert. Do, 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 do. So if it gets to that point, guys, why don't you guys just do me a favor and throw a gold ring out there for me to find? <laughs> so that's the side. Here's the other side. Nice, pretty pictures. And this figure is part of the Blade Brigade back in season one. He's Gold Blade. And then on this side, they got it right in a little teeny tiny print. One in 24 packs contain real gold dip treasure. Now we got a total of 24 in this box and it says one in 24. So if you buy a case, theoretically, you should get one in here. Unless you go to the store and you don't rifle through it. And they mix packages around and they got two boxes. They pull out one and that's the gold and you come. Hey, great. I could get the gold, but you didn't. So what we look for when we look on these packages, well, let's go over them first. Side A. And it says the same thing, 24 hunters to collect across series five. And it says they're back. Season one heroes have returned, some with limited finishes. And then the warning choking hazard, toy contains small parts and small balls, not for children under the age of three. And then just below that, they're reiterating, it's the one in 24 pack contains real gold that treasure rats. I was hoping a one in 18, nuts. And it's for ages five and older. And then on the back, it says the quest for treasure continues. Join the hunt for real gold dip treasure and uncover legendary treasure hunters along the way. What discoveries 
prizes await you. Well, I don't know, Raggy. And then down below it says the contents. You get one treasure hunter figure, one treasure, one collector's guide, and caution adult supervision should be encouraged for young children. Do not eat. Important, please retain packaging details for future reference. Colors and contents may vary. And then for those of you who are into codes and stuff, to say, look, I really want to find the gold dip treasure, and there's one in 24. On most of the packages, these blind bags, as they are here, there's codes in there to kind of let the manufacturer know when they're producing these to not put us gold in every single package because then they're like, oh, we're losing money. But you got happy customers. Anyway, so what they'll do typically is they'll say, okay, let's mark one of these to let us know that this is the one that contains Wow, did I just spit at you? <laughs> I saw that cleat go over. <laughs> Cannonball! I'm so excited, like Sylvester getting his Tweety. Get my Tweety, which is the tweet, the gold dip treasure, woo! Typically, you go through a box of 24. All the codes that we found usually are the same except for one, and that typically contains the real gold dip treasure. However, it's been kind of off and on. Some of them will have mixed codes, so you try to find the ones that aren't as common as the other codes, and if there's one or two, you'd pull that out. You know, we got a code right here, guys, okay? See the code? Read the code. Memorize the, the code. code. So that one's WS416120, right? So we pull out another code. And this one is WS413320. So this one's different from that one. So now we got something established. Now what we do is we pull out the rest of the packages and we see which one's more common. This one's uh, 6120, so the 6120s. And I'll be honest with you, we already went through all these. These are all 6120s. This one is like the Sesame Street song. Which one of these is not like the others? Well, it's this one. This one's the only different code. So theoretically, this should have the gold in it. Does it feel heavy? Well, some characters, you know, they don't have a whole lot of plastic on them. So they may weigh lighter and then they put the gold in there and it feels like, you know, maybe it's just like any other package. This one I think has the gold. Should we open it first? We're opening up our first one. So here we go. Go ahead and pinch and tear. Oh. They're the exact same. Oh man, this collector guide is so tiny compared to the last collector's guide. You see that? Huge. And you know what? You get a bag. In season one, they got a big, huge box here. And in this box, guys, they had this plaster that you had to soak, chip through. It was like plaster everywhere, dust if you didn't soak it. It's just now you just open a bag. Pretty soon they'll actually have it online where they can just go ahead and click. Just, you know, pay a buck and then spin it. And it's like, you found real gold. Great, I get a picture. I get to put that on my phone. Woo! <laughs> You don't even have to like break through, dig the earth, dig the plaster to get your gold. And the figures, you know what's cool about these? They were disembodied all over the place. You actually had to like dig and then find it and then put it and then clean it off. In fact, some of these, you can still see the plaster on it. We try to clean them up as best we can, but you can see there's plaster. In fact, more so on his uh, hat there, it's just the white. Man, these are all nice and shiny. I mean, these are like real collector's items in one sense because they're not buried in plaster. You don't have to wash them off. You don't have to dig for them. You can see his battle ax there. He's got a dollar sign on it. Wow. You really had to earn your gold and then you could find one in 18 and this is a case of 18 and on the cost wise i think these are five bucks and these were like ten dollars each most of what you're paying for is the plaster <laughs> and that's right you also get the treasure chest and what was cool about the treasure chest is you could go ahead and fill it with water and it just fizzed on the big one the first one they came out with they have a list of all the those dudes you can collect and here they got the same and then on the back which was super cool is you have these little discs that you can go ahead and put them over and try to line up to find out the three um holes in the disc if it was a money bag, a palm tree, and a mountain. If you turn it just right, that was the gold you were looking for. I mean, guys, the hunt was super cool what they did in season one. It was completely fun, completely messy, and it was cool because one in 18 gold. You had to pay a little bit more money, but that's cool. But let's go through the collector's guide of the 24 that you can collect with those limited finishes. First, we got the rare crystal figures. The pirate posse includes Admiral Goldhook, Captain Goldeye, and Scurvy Gold Bags. Doesn't look like you have any limited finishes there, and you got a little circle to mark them off when you collect them. Then you've got the ultra Rares. Woo! They glow in the dark. And they're the Midnight Crusaders. King Gold Crown. Now, he's got to be a limited finish because he's not like the others, like Sir Gold Axe or Lord Lutum. So I don't think he's going to glow in the dark because back in season one, the blues, they glowed in the dark, but gold, uh, we could try, see what happens if we collect them. Next, you got the uh, rare crystal figures, the Scuba Scavengers, which is Gold Gills, Gold Diver, and Gold Fin. Now, he's in gold, so there's uh, a limited edition. Then the Treasure Tribe, Golden Spear, Dr. Goldspill, Chief Goldo, the Blade Brigade, Master Gold Sword, Gold Blade 
is a uh, limited edition. And Golden Star, when well, he's not gold, but he is not the same that he was in season one. He was in purple. This looks black, like a kind of a black, gray, crystal-like finish. Huh, we'll have to see what he looks like, but he may be a limited edition as well. And then the Bling Bandits, you got Swipe Gold Bar, Rogue Gold Snatcher, and Blinging the Kid. And whenever I started finding these guys among my favorites to collect the gold, because they had gold bars. Those are so cool. I love the gold bars. In fact, put in the comments below, guys, if any of you guys have collected any of these from the original season one, and if so, if you found any gold, and which gold you found, because that was my favorite season. And in fact, I'm going to go back and do season one here, guys. You want to watch for that, because you can go ahead and put in the comments, how many golds do you think we found, and did we find all the characters? You want to watch. This one, I think, is going to break world records, guys. Then we got the Golden Gladiators, Brutus Blingus, Orange Julius, no, Julius Caesar, Goldius Maximus. And then the Tomb Hunters, Jackal Goldstaff, and then the last two, Pharaoh Loot Loot and Gold Cursor. Gold Cursor was super cool, but you know what? He's got a, like one of those dark gray limited finishes. He was wrapped in white bandages with the green skin and Pharaoh Loot Loots and gold. So that's pretty cool, the Tomb Hunters. And so guys, we got the collector's guide. Then on the back, it looks like they're bringing back all the gold. I hope they're the same size and they're not as small as this cheap little map here. No, they look like the same size. And look, the treasure here, the money bags, they all look the same. So there's the ultra rare gold dip treasures. And now instead of 118, you gotta find one in 24, oh man. <laughs> First of all, you got the Golden Pyramid, then the Golden Goblet, Gold Compass, Gold Ingot. Well, I call it the Gold Bar. Golden Eagle Crest, Golden Skull. That's super cool, guys. Remember Exus? He's super cool, guys. And he's the one that had the Golden Skull, and that was my favorite out of all of them. And I'll tell you, the Golden Skull was tough to find. We went through a lot, guys. We're going to break records on this one. As soon as we get this out, you want to watch it. It's going to be super cool. Then we got the, so anyways, Golden Skull, the Golden Dragon, and the Gold Idol. So out of all of them, my favorite ones was the Gold Goblet, the Gold Ingot, and the Golden Skull is the top. And and then you get these other common treasures like Glow in the Dark, Haunted Lantern, which is super cool. Silver Serpent, Crystal Spear, Forbidden Fish Bones, Magic Potion, Sacred Giant Pearl, Bronze Warhorn, Silver Scarab, Silver Timepiece, Jade Fortune Cat, Glow in the Dark, Silver Sandal, Hidden Horse Head, Bronze Dublin, Sack of Coins, Glow in the Dark, Garnet Mask, so it's a skull, Ming Vase, Dragon Claw, Quartz Dagger, Crystal Eyeball, Platinum Shark Tooth, Ring of Giants, Emperor Skull, Bronze Sovereigns, uh, Coins, and then the Mystical Mummy Hand and it glows in the dark. So hey, even if you don't get the gold, these uh, glow in the darks are pretty cool. And the magic potion because that's in red. It's got color. Let the collection begin. And let's see if we can collect in this setting all 24. That's my goal. That's my goal. You know how many you have to get to get all these 124 and there's eight? She just rolled her eyes at me. Uh, yeah, denominator, carry. All right. <laughs> so we said 192, right? 45, oh, because you got to carry the 45, 46. 960 bucks, guys. And I assume that that doesn't include tax, or that includes the tax. So almost $1,000, man. This is making their gold. And that's assumed that you hit one and nail it every single time. You don't get a case where little Billy came before you and took the gold and went out and you bought the whole thing. And <laughs> So now that we did those numbers, let's do the numbers and see if we can collect all 24. Okay, next bag. We got the glow-in-the-dark skull, the treasure tribe. So let's start putting these into their groups and hopefully we can collect all of them. So that's a lot of bags, guys. So I brought my boys in. Woo! Caleb and Jacob. They're gonna help me open these up and find the ultra rares and the gold. And so guys, grab a bag. You got your collector's guide. Ready, set, rip. Jacob got a, a limited edition. He got King Gold Crown. Woo! This is sick. I can't believe it. My first time I got King Gold Crown. Oh, what did Caleb get? So Jacob got King Gold Crown. There he is. Limited edition right there. He's all gold finished and he's got his treasure right there. Not gold. Okay, this is from the Golden Gladiators. His name is Orange Julius. Julius Caesar. Caesar salad. I got the Tomb Hunters, it's the Jackal Gold Staff. Hey. You got a bag! Oh. Woo, guys! I got a rare scuba dude! I got a rare scooby woo woo Got a scuba scavenger right here. He's a rare crystal finish. It's the Gold Diver. He looks cool. In fact, his crystal finish looks more crystally.
Okay, Caleb. Mine is Gold Cursor. There's his golden axe and his treasure. So he's a member of the Tomb Hunters, and he's the Gold Cursor, and he's got a limited finish, because look at that, guys. That was not in season one. He's got this gray crystal finish. Okay, go next, Jacob. I got another gold. He did. He's got another limited edition. It's the Blade Brigade. And go ahead and show his arms are falling off. <laughs> Put his arm in, bud. Don't drop his arm. I'm scared. Careful with that knife. Ow, bud. Oh. <laughs> this is terrific, bud. Yeah. Oh, you're pulling his body parts off. Put him on. <laughs> That's the one thing about our Jacob. When he opens up things, he loses a lot of things. <laughs> so we don't know where his treasure's at. But if he had a treasure, it'd be super cool. So here's the Tomb Hunters. It's Feral Toot Toot. Loot Loot. One for you, one for you. Oh, yes! I got the Midnight Crusaders Ultra Rare Gold in the Dark. Woo! And this is Sir Goldax and his little tooth. I got... Woo! Jacob got one of the Pirate Posses, the Rare Crystal Figures, Admiral Goldhook. It reminds me a lot of Disneyland and the Pirates of the Caribbean. No, why am I keep ripping off their hands? <laughs> Jacob's trying to arm him with his weapon, but every time he does, his arm pops off. This has gone from PG to PG-13, guys. This is a horrific video. <laughs> Dismembered bodies here. I can't. We're gonna take a commercial break. Oh, the edit. <laughs> he gets the weapon right in his hand, but it doesn't slide in and locks in. He pushes off the arm. So he finally got it in the hand, but without the body. It's so pretty though. You want me to push it in? <laughs> but now his scythe is upside down. <laughs> hey, he's reaping. It's not scary if he's like cutting like grass or wheat with his little skith or scythe or hook. That's super cool, guys. You did awesome, Admiral Gold Hook. I'm getting good luck. Yeah, you got really good luck, bro. This is- Who'd you get? Who's this? Gold Blade with his gold finish and his treasure, the Jade Fortune Cat. He's from the Blade Brigade. Rip! Yeah! Another rare crystal figure finish. So let me introduce this guy. This is the Pirate Posse. He's gonna go with this dude right here, and it's Scurvy Gold Bags. Arr! Woo! And these guys look so much better than going through all that plaster, you know, to wipe them off. They look really purdy. <laughs> Okay, who's next? Me. Jacob, what'd you get? I have the old season one with his little whipper, and I don't want I don't want to put on the weapon again. You know <laughs> what's gonna happen. He put it on. He actually armed him. He's ready to start beating people with his gold bars. So this is the bling bandits, it's swipe gold bar. First of all, he's a rare crystal figure. He's from the Scuba Scavengers, and he's... Gold Gills. Gold Gills. And a sacred giant pearl that just ran off. Sweet, he looks really good. Oh yeah, it looks like we're getting some good ones. First of all, I got the Scuba Scavengers Gold Fin. Woo, and he's got a limited finish. The first one we completed, guys, the Scuba Scavengers. All three of them right here. Go ahead, Caleb, who'd you get? This is Treasure Tribe Golden Spear in his Silver Serpent. Okay, Jacob, who'd you get? I got him. He's uh, the Midnight Crusaders, ultra rare gold in the dark figure. So there's Lord Toot Toot, and Jacob lost his loot loot. I gotta keep an eye on him when he opens bags. Oh. There's the treasure. What will Jacob do with it? We're at war, buddy. Get him armed. Get him out there. <laughs> the army's falling down flat on their face. So who is this? He's got the golden gladiators, Goldius Maximus. I 
I got Master Gold Sword and his treasure, the Haunted Lantern. It's glow in the dark. These guys don't stand very well. They keep falling flat on their faces. Okay, the last golden gladiator that we finally collected is Bertus Blingus, or Burpus, or Burp bl Barf Bling. Bertus Blingus. So now we've got three of the eight groups collected. Let's go to the next one. Let's see if we can complete another group. Oh, that is cool. Jacob just got a super cool guy. And you know when you open the bag, the pearls started rolling away from him. I mean, treasure just does not stick to him. <laughs> this guy's super cool. He's one of my favorites. Who'd you get, Jacob? It's a rare crystal figure. So that's what Jacob got. It's Captain Goldeye, Pirate Posse. And stand with his little hook figure leg. He's got a little knobby leg. You gotta twist it down so he can stand on his little wooden peg leg. How do you know that? because I like watch pirate shows. It's hard to stand because look, his little loincloth is too low and it's creating a little extra, well. <laughs> Who'd you get? I got Dr. Gold Spear and Crystal Spear. I just got the Blade Brigade and it's Golden Star. And let me go ahead and arm him here, right here. So we completed another set. Guys, one, two, three, four, five. No more. More. Oh. Gold. I got gold. Look at that, guys. Woo. <laughs> and you know what? So we're looking for codes and we had extra bags and y'all had the same code, which was 6120. And that one's got my favorite, the gold bar. And it was the last guy that we were trying to collect here. Where's his weapon? Oh, there it is. He'll beat you over the head with his bat, his bling bat. Oh, this is super cool, guys. This was the last one we were trying to collect right here. And it's the bling bandits and his rogue gold snatcher. So we'll put him right here. And guys, there's the gold bar, my favorite ingot. And you know what? I'll be honest with you guys. When I started tearing at the beginning, I wanted to save the best for last, the gold. And this was the one we talked about. This is the code right here for this one that was different than all the others. WS413320. Now this bag was different than all the other bags because of the code. This bag was also different because there was no code on it. Huh. So what did I find in this bag? There it is, guys. I just opened up the gold piece because it had a different number. <laughs> it's the pyramid and it's a limited edition. I found a limited edition Tomb Hunter Feral Toot Toot and we got the gold pyramid. Super cool, guys. Here, Jacob, will you cut this open and, and get out the gold bar for us, please? That's also my fingers. Watch my fingers. You like the gold bar? Yeah. Go show everybody, pull it out, please. That is super cool, guys. And we only collected two, so we got six more to go, guys. We actually collected 25, and we got two golds, guys. What was the odds? Well, we had extras, so we had to pulse in. We don't want to leave you guys hanging. And you know what, guys? Just a quick note. These were the original season ones right here, and you can see the difference between the two. In fact, let's go ahead and fire them both up. And you can see this one's darker in color, and this one's more clear. And I don't know, because they put these in the plaster, and I don't know if it did something to the color, but this one looks so much better, guys, by far. And in fact, the helmet looks more gold. It doesn't look worn out. So for the collectors, I think this is cool. But unless this guy, it's okay for the limited finish, but I loved him so much more in his original with green skin and white toilet paper around him, his wrappings. So, you know, maybe you guys can find those online, uh, the old ones, but they're getting so rare, they're hard to find, but there's the difference. In fact, let's go ahead and fire these up and see which ones glows better. And do they glow in the dark? I don't think this guy is gonna glow in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> So when you go to limited editions, you get King Gold Crown who doesn't glow anymore. So you're sacrificing something in hopes that you're getting something limited, but the limitation on him is he doesn't glow. Mr. Like, lose treasure. <laughs> you know what? We need to find out which, seriously? Jacob? Camera mom was cleaning up after production and she's going through all the bags. Remember how Jacob was losing treasure? Show him what you lost. 
Bow your head in shame. Show him a gold dragon. Camera mom, thank goodness she's a great cleaner upper because she finds gold. We found three pieces of gold, but here's the question. We didn't open, but just a few bags and we only found two, one that was different and one that was unmarked. There is still gold out in them bags, I bet. And guys, we got more. And you know what? They're all different. So Jacob, give me that. Don't trust him. <laughs> Look, he's even eating on set. You can't eat on set. They'll fire you. No. If we go back and watch the footage, you'll find out which package, because the gold doesn't come in the ultra rares. Gotcha. Yeah! <laughs> you know what disappears around Jacob? Gold and sugar. Candy. So guys, we collected all of them. Everyone, uh, three in each group, a total of eight groups. Super cool. And we got all the treasures here, and we found three golds. We got the gold ingot, the gold bar, and we got the golden dragon, the golden pyramid. Now, the reason why I want to stop you at this point in the video, well, towards the end, is because we found tons more gold. We are about to give up saying, you know, we found the gold, we're good, one in 24, right? But we had some extra bags, so we started opening those. Okay, we had quite a few of them. And so we kept opening these bags, you know, off camera, because we thought that once you found the gold, it was based upon a a unique number and the rest of these bags have all the same number of four one six one two zero and remember when we started to open these up we had 24 and one was different and the others have the same number that you saw here so we thought we were done we thought let's just open them up and see how many we get how many rares and all this stuff well after we opened them up we found gold guys in all these bags so you could go off the unique code if you find a case of them but probably don't be so discouraged if you find a brand new case the stock boy just brought it out here's a whole new case and you look inside of it and they all have the same numbers, you know what? You'll probably still find the gold. It's kind of weird. But like I said, out of over 100 of these bags we opened up, guys, there were only two. Two that actually, one had no code on it, as we showed you, and the other one had unique code compared to all the rest. All the other codes had this exact code, 416120. So like I said, we thought we were done, but that's not true. There we go. We got another gold bar. Ooh, new gold right here. That's a golden eagle crest. Another gold dragon, another golden eagle crest, another golden dragon, and look, another golden eagle crest. So there's the golden eagle crest right there. You know what's fascinating about the four that we collected, guys, these four golds? If you look at the total of eight groups, these four golds that we collected were all from the bottom four groups. None did we find the top four. Fascinating, huh? Well, we sometimes wonder if Moose produces these and hangs on to them, or they ship them into different parts of the country, the batches get mixed up. We have some evidence where we think Moose may have held on to some of the treasure X's we've done over the past uh, several seasons. Either that, they're just late in producing them, and then they just released a few of them. So in any case, we don't know, but we didn't get the Golden Goblet, the Golden Compass, or the Golden Skull. And those three out of the four are from, well, one's the Ultra Rare, which is the Golden Goblet, the other two, the Golden Skull and the Golden Compass, are from the rare groups and then the gold idol which would be from the treasure tribe what are the odds about just a hundred so if it's one in 24 we should have found just four maybe five golds at best how many do we have here nine we got a total of nine guys nine golds which is super cool but you know what that's only half so we're gonna spend thousands of more dollars to find the other golds stay tuned we're gonna see if we can come up with the funding go ahead like and subscribe it'll help fund us okay let's go ahead and fire them up here we're charging up the particles that glow in the dark with a black light because it charges them up faster and makes it last longer than a normal light so here we go in three two one Oh yeah, that's super cool. Look at that, ooh, that's pretty creepy. Especially those dark eyes. All right, awesome. Okay guys, for good measure, the two in the middle are the ones from series five. The ones on the outside are from series one. So I wanted to see if there was a difference when it came to glowing. I don't think there will be, but notice how cool it is that King Gold Crown, which does not come in series five, as a glow in the dark, so you miss out on him. If you want to have him glow in the dark, you gotta get series one. But let's see what happens if there's any difference in three, two, one. No, they all look pretty good. Super cool. Of course, that one in the middle right there, he got the most light, so he's lasting the longest. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.